Let's bring in NBC's senior Washington correspondent, Hallie Jackson, now. So, Hallie, as, as Peter just outlined there, you've got the split-screen day right. with dueling developments on the guns issue. Let's start with the Supreme Court decision. Set the scene for what happens next. Where, where does the right. debate go from here over guns? Well, it goes back to the states, right? So it goes to the state level now, and then probably after that, back to the courts, right? So keep in mind, it's not like there's a ton of states affected by the decision. It's only about a half dozen, but gun reform advocates point out there are states with big populations and that this will affect one in four Americans. You look at New York, right? The governor there has already said that she wants to call a special session of the legislature to try to figure out how to restrict guns in these so-called sensitive locations. California's governor also says that his state is looking at how to update its public carry laws so that it can be consistent with a ruling. A ruling, by the way, that Governor Newsom calls reckless. It's, it's probable that after those state houses take action, you will see more legal action then. That's what's going to happen, I think, in the months and the years to come. Well, Hallie, let's understand the connection between these two headlines on guns. It was weird they happened on the same day, but the right. impact that the Supreme Court ruling will have on, on the deal that was just passed by the Senate. So experts that NBC News has talked to suggest that there might be some new scrutiny now on what has passed the Senate and what is expected to ha pass the House, as Peter has laid out. And that's because the Supreme Court basically said, hey, anything now that goes into place that's a gun law, basically, needs to have some historical precedent, right? It needs to have a basis in history. So you look at something like, for example, a red flag law that experts point out that is a modern concept that doesn't have a lot of precedent in history. So that is something an area that I think a lot of people are looking to. It's not going to affect today's vote necessarily, right? Almost certainly will not. But it is something to watch for down the road, Hoda. Yeah. All right. Hallie Jackson for us there in Washington. Hallie, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.